I don't have any form of jewelry. <laughs> hello my loves welcome back to my channel so today i did this look i'm quite excited because this look is making me so happy i did this look using only nigerian brands like sis tell me i'm not looking like a baby girl just sit down there and tell me lydia you're not looking like a baby girl <laughs> anyway i did this look using nigerian brands in this tutorial i just wanted to do it to show you guys that you can look so bomb literally without breaking the bank this look is like so easy to achieve, so bomb, so beautiful. Obviously, Nigerian brands have more eyeshadows and glitter than all of that, but I'm going out tonight and I just wanted to show you guys this um, like look. I can't, I can't stop looking at the monitor. <laughs> if you like to see how I achieve it, keep on watching. To start my primer, I'm going to be using um, this combination from Younger Beauty. It's their Prime Matte and Set to Go. The primer is quite silicone and like just very i don't know it just makes the face smooth and application very easy while that is drying i'm going to be showing you guys my t um the two foundations i i'll be trying today it's from zikel cosmetics even true foundation and this is their um pro matte definition high definition foundation so i think i'm actually going to be using this one so this is what the tube looks like um so I'm just going to squat some out on the beauty blender. Actually, this is my first time using this foundation. So for concealer, I'm using these two from Zaron Cosmetics. It has a very detailed applicator. I love this applicator. It's just very tiny and precise. It dries kind of fast actually. For my contour, this isn't a Nigerian brand, but it's then it's Black Opal and I got it from their Nigerian branch. So I'm going to be using Black Opal in the shade Caro. The setting powder I'm going to be using. If you're not if you don't have this powder in your kit. I know a lot of you have bought it because of me, but if you don't have it in your staple, you need to get it. It's the Beauty by AD powders. Um, let me give you guys an up close shot. So these are what the powders look like. I'm going to be using Tony. Tony is the darker shade and amber underneath my eyes. So for my brows, I'm going to be using a uh, different product this is from glitter and glam beauty world it has this part that looks like this and it also has this part so this is like a very detailed tiny brush for the eyebrows i don't know if you guys can see it i have two shades of this pencil this is light coffee and this is dark brown so i'm going to be using the dark brown to fill my brows and then the light coffee um, spoolie this part I'm going to use it so you know give my brows that baby girlness the brush is so tiny so it's like bomb for this this oh it's tiny brush is doing to my eyebrows So what I'm actually going to do is put some of my Benite Glitter Glue on this brush. So this is going to like set the hair in place. My eyeshadow base is going to be Yanga Beauty Assurance Primer. And my eyeshadow palette is also going to be Yanga Beauty Aerial Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the palette looks like. So this brush I'm going to be using is from Revita Joseph. This primer is very good guys. Like it dries very matte and it makes the eyeshadow pop. Because I'm not doing so much on my eyes. That's why I'm not using it like I even use it to cut my crease sometimes, so check them out. I'm using it very sparingly because 
I'm doing a very simple eye look today. So I'm going to be taking this shade called 7. It's like an orangey shade. I'll just put that in my crease. Like this eye look is almost so easy, you will not even believe. So I'm kind of carrying it up to join my contour. I learned this from Makeup Shader and it just makes the eye look bigger than it actually is. I'm going to be using this white shade here, it's called In Your Bong and I'll mix it in a bit with this, so these two shades. Manga Beauty Attitude Pencil. What I'm going to do is just use that to line my waterline and tight line. These brushes are just two bombs. I, I've been using them for a while now and I honestly can't do my makeup routine without it. I'm taking the black in this palette. You can see how pigmented that is. And that escalated really quickly. I didn't want to do that at all. So I used the green and the blue from the palette under my eyes. This green and this blue. I use them under my eyes now. For mascara, I'm using a mixture of these two from Zaron Cosmetics and Reenjoin Lashes. Can you guys see how long this lash um, mascara made my lashes? I'm going to use this one. I'm still going to use that range on for my lower lash. I just get so scared because it gets stained. It stains. Oh, so what I told you guys. Can you see what it has done now? No. Let me just finish up first. Correct this mistake underneath my eyes. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to show you guys how I correct it. I'm not going to cut out the clip. I'm just going to take a bit of this concealer from LA Girl. It's in the shade Chestnut. And I'm going to take very tiny, like almost, almost unstable. And I just place it there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. However, so lightly, you want to place that concealer there, then blend it out. If you put too much or you use a shade that is lighter, like the one we use for highlighting, what's going to happen is that it's going to give you like a line, a, a mark there, and it's not going to be, it's just going to be like a line there. So in case you have this issue, use a darker, almost like a foundation shade of concealer, and just go in very lightly. These are what the lashes are looking like. Finish up the rest of my face. I think I'm not going to finish all the tutorial with you guys up close and personal like this. What do you guys think? I think it's nice. So when using this shade, this middle shade here from the DV Beauty Planet. When you see me hit pan on products, like it just common sense that tells you the product is warm. So check out, check them out. Like the powders are really nice. So I'm going to use my Younger Beauty highlighter in the shade O'Shea. They, they just go all out with their products. So this is O'Shea and this is how it looks on the inside. I have a review of these highlighters on my on my channel. Okay, before highlighter, let's apply blush. I know, right? So weird of me. <laughs> I almost really never apply blush. So this blush is from Hush Beauty NG. We're going with this Hydra Glow Mist from Sopro Cosmetics. Don't worry about the way it's looking now. It should dry up soon. And then it will look bomb. So this way it's actually pushing the setting spray into the makeup and locking it in place. So it stays on all day. I'm going out tonight and 
I really want my makeup to last so it's going to last trust me I've done it when I have events um, I'm a heavy sweater so you know that for me to recommend this to you it works for lips I'm going to be using this my Liptastic cream from Younger Beauty and this orange lipstick. Just to get a base for this. I really love this Younger Beauty um, Liptastic cream because it's like a liquid lipstick and a gloss together, and it just feels so amazing on the lips and looks so yummy as well. So, guys, this is the finished look. I'm really loving how it came out like Nigerian brands did that they did this so obviously I, all the brands I showed in this video I, rec I recommend them like top notch there are still some other bomb brands that I couldn't use in this video because I don't have like the rest of my kit here there in my studio so I just use what I had at home so like um, Flawless IV, Tails Beauty brand, EA Beauty Oh my gosh, there are so many brands. I can't remember them off the top of my head. I couldn't show all of them in this tutorial, but Nigerian brands are stepping it up and they're cleaning the games and a girl is so proud of them. So do check them out. You don't need to break the band to look good. Like you can look like a million bucks where you did spend up to 10,000 naira. You know, you know, that's, that's, that's the goal in this 2019. Let me tell you, use your money for better stuffs, you know? buy bomb foundations this foundation from Ezekiel cosmetics so bomb and i'm telling you i don't think it's up to 5k if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure because this was sent to me in pr but they're very affordable stuffs check them out <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching i'm going to see you guys in my next tutorial i'm going to try to like come to you guys with tutorials this year so please send me not send me comment down below what you think about this look comment down below what makeup you want me to do Give me their traits in the comments and I'll do it for you. <laughs> Just let me know what you want me to film and I'm here for you guys. Like I'm here for you. Please don't forget to like. It's very important that you click the like button for me. That you subscribe and tell your friends. Tell one or two of your friends about this video. You can share it on your stories. You know, just spread the word. Help a girl. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching up until this point. If you stayed up until this point, man. You're the real MVP and I love you so much. Till next time, stay beautiful. I love you. Mwah.